Hey guys. I was gonna talk about the explosion. Because <laughs> it keeps coming up in, in conversation or on stream. And then I have to like tell people who don't know it again. So I thought I might just make a video on it. So here we go. So in the summer 2020, the year of our pandemic, um, before midnight, like so in between 11 p.m. and, you know, midnight, um, I was actually sleeping for once. Because I also had work the next day. Um, but I was rudely awoken by a big fucking boom. Yeah, an explosion. <laughs> But at the time, you know, wake, if you're awoken like that, you don't know what it is, right? You know, you, like, I just thought I was dreaming. So I I kind of rolled over and tried to go back to sleep. Um, but so what had happened was that, just to tell, it's a whole thing, but I'll just, like, not keep you in suspense, I guess. Um, someone had placed an explosive device in the walkway and that's enclosed by the way so it's just like concrete walls and roof like you there's no window you can't get out it's like you just go through it that's it there's nothing else but someone had placed an explosive device in that walkway and you have to walk through there to get to your apartment because you get into the yard and then that's the door to the apartment building so you have to go through there. There's an, an opening on the other side as well, but most people don't use that one because you usually come from the other way where the explosive device was, or the bomb, you know. it's a, It was a bomb, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I had dreamt it, so I just, yeah. But it obviously had woken me up. So what happened was then that lying there, I was like trying to go back to sleep, but I had my windows open since it's summer and Sweden, like summer in Sweden can be incredibly hot. So you kind of have to have your windows open at night. Um, and I lived uh, on the first floor. Um, so I felt safe enough to do because I had like one window open where. Yeah, it, it felt safe. Never mind. It, it felt safe to have that window open because we all... <laughs> It's also every year, every summer, there's the reports of of someone climbing in through someone's open door uh, or window during the summer. So I'm, I'm also a bit paranoid about that, but I felt safe with that window for certain reasons. Um, but after like a very short while, like a minute or so, I just heard because neighbors came out into the yard and started talking. So I heard them through the window and I was like, what the fuck is going on? So, you know, I, I, I got up to check it out because since i'm on the first floor so the first floor in sweden is not the ground floor you have the ground floor which is zero and then you have the first floor which is one floor up basically so one like full flight of stairs up so you still you know you're above so you know there's an apartment beneath me as well so i had a good view of the whole yard from my kitchen window so I could just lean out of it and just like look down and look at everything. Um, and there was just a lot of neighbors out in the yard. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Um, there was, you know, everyone was confused of what was happened, what, what happened. And I, I can't see the walkway, like into the walkway from where I am. Um, and I didn't go out because frankly, I didn't feel like I was like, because I still, you know, I didn't know what was happening. Why would I go out? Because I also I could hear what they were saying from up in my apartment. I didn't need to go out. Um, but what how I actually knew something really bad had happened was that when I went up because I had to go to my kitchen so my bedroom or like it, it's a studio apartment so where I was sleeping is like on this side and then I had to go through to my kitchen and going through to my kitchen the wardrobe were were open like both of my wardrobes were open so I was like that's strange like they just opened on their own they're like wide open and I'm like that's okay so 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 right here yeah and in the kitchen all the cabinets were open so i was like holy fuck what happened so i realized that yeah i hadn't dreamt it something had happened you know 
Um, and the thing is, first a few police officers show, shoot up, shoot, shoot up, showed up. Uh, I don't know, two, three, no idea. But eventually, there were a lot of fucking policemen in this. Like the yard isn't big; it's a small yard. Uh, and there were nine policemen eventually, and I was like, shit. You know, some of them had like you know the helmets and stuff that you have in. I guess bomb squad or if you're kind of special i don't know it's probably something they all have access to but some of them just showed up in it um but m yeah just most had normal gear um and stuff like that um just wondering if i'm having the same issue i have on stream no that's too dark uh, no mm. Okay, let's go with that. I don't care. Um, but yeah, they came and checked on all, you know, they knocked on all the doors and like, hi, are you okay? And took a few of our statements and, and well, all of our statements, like, have you seen or heard anything and blah, blah, blah. It was very, very short. It was like less than five minutes you talked to them. There were two police, very, very nice police officers. Um, um, I also, for some reason, have a vague memory of someone carrying out a toilet into to the yard. So I assume something was damaged. It was in, probably in the apartment that was closest to the bomb. Um, weirdly enough, no, I don't think any window was broken. So that was good, which was also a bit strange. Strange. Um, but what they also did was, because they asked about my downstairs neighbor, the neighbor that lives right b below me. Because he, I, I don't think I've seen him or heard him or like anything in a few days or like at least one or two days. Um, and they asked specifically about him because they couldn't get a hold of him. You know, no one opened the door and stuff like that. Um, I, and I, I, I didn't know anything about him. I don't know anything about him. Um, because, you know, he's... It's a halfway apartment, up a halfway home kind of thing. So there's, it's for men who have, I can't remember the exact word, but it's like so psychosocial issues or something. So this is the halfway home for them to go back into normal society. So I guess they could be like drug addicts, well, former drug addicts or criminals or stuff like that. Which I was fine with, and that it's been like it had been like that for like years, and it had been no issues, it had been like a noise complaint one once, and that was it. So I was perfectly fine with that. But now, every, of course, the all because everyone else living in my building in that building were normal residents. You know, they just rented your, their apartments. Um, but yeah, I didn't know anything about him. I only said hi. I've said hi to him like once, I think, in passing. That's about it. Um, so I, I couldn't tell you if he was nice or not. He just, we said hi. Nothing more. There was no exchange of anything else. Like, oh, how are you? Or well, the weather. You know, it was just hi. Um, but yeah, after this, because um, yeah, they asked about him because he didn't open his door. Well, I assume, he, you know, he wasn't home. So I spoke a bit to, to my neighbors at the same, because we all live very, like all of our, our front doors are very close to each other. So when the police came and interviewed us, like we, all of our doors were kind of like open and we were all kind of waiting in a bit. We just closed the doors when they interviewed us, like right inside, uh, just because, you know, for privacy, I guess. None of, I don't, I don't think any of us had anything to say. Um, my, my neighbor closest to me, next to me was definitely sh shook up shaken up um i felt nothing i was calm as, kind of, was calm as a cucumber yeah, that's the issue with me i guess or i don't know if it's a good thing when something like this happens like i say oh well, something like this whenever a bomb goes off no but like whenever something big or serious happens like in the moment i'm usually very very calm it's usually afterwards when everything's settled that i fucking lose my mind so, so I was fine. I was very calm. Um, but I was, I was just curious. Was, okay, what's happening now? And like, yeah, okay. But I did stay home from work the next day for obvious reasons. I was like, uh, maybe I should go in. Um, uh, um, what was I thinking of? Oh yeah. So, okay. What happened next? Super fucking weird. 
and made me super fucking paranoid. So, since they couldn't get a hold of the guy downstairs, they had a very, very strange reaction to that. They really, really wanted to get a hold of him. Or, like, get into his apartment, at least. So, what they did is, because you could exit his apartment from the yard. Like, since he's on the ground floor, right? Uh, so, they took, there's like a bench in the yard, you know, you can sit there and smoke or whatever. So, they just pulled up the bench, put it underneath his window, his, his kitchen window. Fucking broke the window, pulled out a fucking curtain... And yelled, police, 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 and went in. He wasn't home. I don't know, I, would, I don't know what the point was. I'm not sure if they thought he was hiding out or anything. I assume so. Um, but yeah, nothing came out of that. Um, so yeah, I was, that made me go like, who, who lives there? What, what is it? Like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, that was very strange. Um, but yeah, they everyone just, you know, eventually everyone left and stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure the fire brigade showed up as well, or fire department or whatever you call them. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I read, they wrote an article about it, of course, in the, like, city newspaper, or, like, this area's news newspaper. Um, I guess the counties. Um... And apparently the, like, the blast or the boom, the sound, I guess the shockwave, was so loud you could hear across the river. Which, like, this, you know, them, them, you know, it's not a village something, it's a, it's a city, it's a big city. It's the second biggest, largest city in Sweden, so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was loud. It was very loud. It could be heard over the whole city, pretty much. Um, and when I went back to work, like the not the next day, but the day after, I talked to some of my colleagues who live, like on across the river, and they said they had heard it. So yeah, it, it was loud. It was very loud. So it was, it was weird that I think because they placed it in the walkway, and the walkway was, it's cement. Or concrete, everything is concrete. Like the floor is concrete, the roof's concrete. like everything's concrete. It didn't do much damage at all. It's just a, like the actual sound it made or the noise it made was very very loud. But yeah, it was lucky they placed it there. I think I'm not. I'm you know I'm not a fucking scientist, but I, that's what I believe. Um, cause seeing the damage afterwards, it wasn't too bad for that big of a fucking bang and other stuff. I think it's more the vibrations that it caused the shockwave. Um, but yeah, anyway, the next day when I was home from work, uh, they say one of the police officers called again. Uh, well, they called this time, didn't show up. Um, and they asked me specifically, that was the only thing they really wanted to know, about my downstairs neighbor. Made me more paranoid about this guy. Listen, I also want to say, I don't know if he's done anything. I have no fucking idea. I'm just saying what happened and what made me go like, there's something up with this guy. But then, I, you know, I don't know what happened. I have no idea. I'm not accusing anyone of everything. I'm just saying, like, how the police acted made me think, like, oh, there's something up with this guy. Because they kept asking about him. And about him specifically. They didn't ask about another neighbor somewhere else. They asked about him specifically. Um... But yeah, I just told them his name because I've seen his name since I walked past his door and his name is on the door. So I walked past his door like a million times because I have to when I go outside. So you kind of notice. Um, but other than that, I couldn't tell them anything. So, you know, that was it. But yeah, they called me up and asked me specifically about him. So yeah. Um... But yeah, I started looking up things on the internet because I definitely got paranoid and reading things in the newspaper made me go like, oh, there's... Because when there's explosions like this, it's always gang ties. You know, a normal person, a normal person. You know, if you have an argument with someone, you don't go around placing bombs close to other people's homes where a lot of people can be affected, right? Unless you're a fucking psychopath. But it's unusual for, like, unless it's gang tied. 
at least in this city, I would say, when it comes to explosions. And also, I think at that point in time, we had a lot of explosions going on in the city and it was always gang tied. So it was not an unknown phenomenon, basically. So I was just like, is this if because this guy's going to keep living downstairs because I called the landlord and asked them. I was like, this is a bit, you know, people don't feel safe because they talk to my neighbors as well. So what are you going to do about it? Is, are, are you still going to rent out to, to this halfway home and stuff like that? Like I was that person because I didn't feel safe because I was like right, right on top of this apartment. So I definitely did not feel safe. Um, and they were like, yeah, we can't do anything. They have a contract, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, guess I better move then, because you're not going to do anything. Also, to be honest, it was time for me to move. I had lived there for like nine years. Um, but yeah, I, I just looked up cause this guy a bit, because you, you can see, you know, you can see convictions, stuff like that. Uh, it's public record. Uh, he had some convictions, and I didn't think any of them seemed bad. There was nothing really bad about them to me. I know their convictions, but there were nothing like if if I had a friend who had those convictions, I would be like, yeah, I don't care. Um, it's more the fact that I think he was friendly, or so it was said. I don't know. I don't know the guy. It's just like what said in the newspaper that there were gang ties. So I assume it, it might have been him because the police kept fucking asking about him. Um, so uh, he wasn't in a gang as far as I know. Once again, I don't know if he ha he even had gang ties, but if it was him or whoever, it's that he was like, he had friends in gangs, so he had hung around them or something. So it wasn't even that he was in a gang. If, if any of that was happening, I want to be very careful here because I actually, I have no idea. This is just what I kind of read and looked up and stuff like that. But in the end, nothing's 100% confirmed. Um, but yeah, this someone placing a bomb like this, this seemed more like a warning than trying to harm someone. Because if they wanted to harm him or something, they could have placed it right outside his door or right underneath, like beneath his window outside or stuff like that. So they could have done more damage to him specifically or to anyone else they wanted to do it because it feels otherwise this this is was a safe area. You know, it's still a safe area. It's just like old people and families living there. So it was very strange. Um, I felt very safe in that area, um, even though I knew there were, you know, there were kind of gangs there, but not because where that was, it was kind of like off. The way it was kind of weird. You don't go there unless you have business there, basically. That's at least what I feel. Or you walk past if you walk your dog or something. But you don't go inside somewhere. Um. But yeah, then I managed to move a few months later. But the kick in the teeth, teeth, the, 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 the kick in the teeth were that i found out after i had like done my contract and everything for my new apartment that my landlord decided to no we we the halfway high house uh we're gonna rent to a norm nor as they put it normal person a normal renter and i was like great why didn't you tell anyone who was in the building because this was when I talked to them about things about moving out, like what I had to do and where I had to be handing keys and stuff like that. Um, so I was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> like, why did you tell us? Like, what? what? And they're like, no oh, privacy issues. And I'm like, but you're telling me now because I asked you. So why couldn't you tell us? Like, why couldn't you send out like a bulletin or something? Like, just send, put it in our mailboxes so then only we know. You know, we can obviously show it to someone else. But as I'm talking to you now and you're telling me, I could just tell someone else. Which I did. I told my neighbors. But, but yeah, that was a kick in the th teeth. It was so dumb. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the explosion story. Yay! I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I survived. I'm fine. I don't think about it anymore. I was definitely a bit traumatized uh, afterwards. Like moving in here, I was very paranoid. I wanted like extra locks and stuff on my door, and then I just got kind of like it, it went away. So now I'm just back to normal. But yeah, I don't rec don't recommend if you can avoid being in a blast. You know. Um. But yeah. Also, now I'm gonna stream.
So bye for now. Where's the button? Bye, bye, Isa.